Hello everyone and welcome back to another Train Sim World 2 patch notes video. Now there is a massive update today uh, for Train Sim World 2. This is as of the 22nd of March 2022. So one of the main sort of uh, bunch of the update is for the Navica Dresden route, Reza Dresden from Rush Hour. So various improvements to the brakes, SGG, MMRSS, the Zaxxon Habings wagons, so they now are more accurate. And the anti-slip brake no longer cuts power when applied on the DBBR143. Various updates to the brakes on the DBBR143. Removed automatic resetting. We'll need to recycle power control off and back on again to regain traction. Traction lock will come off at 1.2 bar brake cylinder pressure regardless of brake type. Updated the AFB electric brake control. AFB will now be able to use the electric brake in. Updated electric brake control from the cab car so that it will now be able to control it on the 143. Improvements to the electric and air brake on the DBBR 143 so that it is now more predictable and responds better. Added additional indicator lights to the DBBR 143. So as you can see there's quite a few uh, fixes. Link will be below if you want to read this out yourself. Added brightness in the cab of the DBBR 143 as it was previously too dim. Updated CIFA on the DBBR143 so that the indicator light now illuminates when CIFA is disabled or in a warning emergency state. Updated PZB so that the PZB acknowledge is no longer triggered whilst it's turned off in the DBBR143. Made various minor improvements to the DBBR143 corrected electric brake performance so that it is now power limited at higher speeds. Corrected slipping behaviour. Updated the sander switch that now works, made sanders more effective at all speeds. Friction brake performance should now be closer to expected performance. Corrected position of contact signal button, increased speed of tap charger. Corrected P release and application times. Updated the emergency brake on the DBBR 363 so that it only activates once pushed over the threshold. Added contact signal alert functionality to trackside telephones. Updated traffic so that it's no longer driving in the wrong direction near Triab. Updated PZB so that it no longer affects the traction control or traction lock when switching cabs. Removed incorrect formations from the scenario planner. The BR185 formations should no longer appear listed as a 363 formation. Adjusted all of the DBBR767 cab cars so that they are now facing forwards when using the scenario planner. Improved brake functionality for the Lairs carrier wagons. There should no longer be an extremely large delay when waiting for the brakes to release. Updated the headlights on the DBBR442, uh, having brought into line with the BR146 and other low codes on the route. So that's the talent to the 442. Updated the Dosto lights that they now have a similar effectiveness of the DBBR146. Memory use optimization improvements for the 146-2. Improved brake pressure handling for service brake application on the DBBR143. Improved wiper controls in the doppel stocks. Fixed issue with contact signaler control on the doppel stocks and moved it to the telephone handset. Set the default, default position of the wipers to park instead of off for the dostos. And then we come on to uh, something a bit more recent, which is the Dresden to Chemnitz route. So added the missing GNT suppression ballasts, fixed instances where the DBBR Talent 2 formations were causing game crashes. And then on to the US route, Sherman Hill. Improved light baking in Hamosa Tunnel. Updated grade crossings at Wyken, Cheyenne Chemical Works and Budford. The crossings should now be more realistic to real life and give a warning of a train approaching if lights arms are present. Removed a unique smokestack from the ROM area at Dino Noble Chemical Plant. Moved the mastery tile so that bison are now more visible from the tracks. Various minor visual improvements to Cheyenne and Laramai. Updated the ditch lights colour to match the headlights on the SD70 Ace. Replaced concrete material with ballast material for Laramai and Cheyenne bridges. Updated the lights on the SD70 Ace to ensure they initialise as expected. Correctly placed Sherman Hill Summit sign, as I think before it was, well, it was off the summit. Uh, various minor visual improvements to Laramai cement works. 
minor performance improvements across the whole route by removing unnecessary weeds which were impacting FPS. Improvements to scenery at the terrain is now smooth near the track and harsh lines are no longer visible and added newly optimised wheat mesh. Now we've got one fix for sand patch grade which has updated the SD40 so that now displays the correct numbers to match the livery uh, and I believe that would be the stars and stripes one I think for the SD40 as that comes in the expansion pack for sand patch grade whereas the SD40-2 is sand patch grade. So now for Chanel Fast Tracker, we've got four uh, fixes. Updated the New Journey's common timetable so to support PIS and virtual destinations. Uh, uh, added missing ice line numbers. Switched on unload all for all terminating services. Moved DBBR 363 at common depots so that it can now be it can now access the turntable. And then for East Coast, which has had quite a few fixes. Added contact signal functionality to the uh, class 377-4. Installed overspeed functionality on the class 66. Updated the class 66 to remove grass sound from the cab when walking around. Various minor improvements to TPWS and AWS on the class 66. Updated Brighton station so that it is now correctly lit at all times of day. Moved two lamp posts either side of Hamden Park level crossing that blocked view of the station when on the footbridge. Added the ability to use the footbridge at Hamden Park level crossing as before you used to phase through it pretty much you wouldn't actually be able to go up. Updated the tunnels so that they are now shadowed correctly. Changed the weather during the loose connection scenario from lightly raining to full raining. Updated the colour of the AWS ramps from yellow to green. Added contact signal functionality to signals with telephones on the posts. Updated the ability to climb up all platforms along their entire length. Added working level crossings to various locations along the route. Updated the skybox to be compatible with the latest version. And updated Falmer Station so that it's no longer populated with hundreds of NPCs at peculiar times of the evening. That'll be fun to see. Well, maybe, that's, maybe that is supposed to be there. Maybe that's supposed to be some sort of football match, you know, in the evening it ends and maybe they're all there. Maybe that's what the original thought was, I don't know. Various minor localization improvements and added contact signal functionality to the class 66. And then for main spec up barn, change the weather during the auto runner scenario from lightly raining to full raining. Various improvements to localization when using the scenario planner and rush hour passengers have now been added. For the Bakerloo line, updated name of rail vehicle in the livery designer menu to be prefixed with the DLC it comes from and various minor localization improvements. And then for the Brighton Main Line, aka London Commuter, improvements to cruise control on the class 377 so that it will now apply electric brake when going downhill or when the speed set is below current speed. And updated coupling ID so that all electro stars will couple and work together. And there we go, that is the patch notes for this update on the 22nd of March 2022. And it should download in the next 24 hours. And if it does, contact Dovetail. Apart from that, hopefully everyone, well, do put your thoughts in the comments below. Links can be found in the description to the Discord server, to the PayPal, and to the merch store if you do want to help support the channel. Apart from that, thanks for coming in, and I hopefully will see you next time. See you all, and take care. Bye, guys.